In this video, we're going to show you how to make this beautiful centerpiece that's our wrapped up packages ready for Christmas. Very simple to do and I think the video will show you how simple. And then of course with choice of fabrics, this one is for birthday celebrations for a little girl. Isn't this fun? Wouldn't she feel special to put this out for her birthday? Or you can change the fabrics for a little boy. I hope you enjoy this video. Now Xerox your pattern six times. Place your paper pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together in polyester bonded batting or really any batting you'd like depending on how thick you want it. It doesn't matter. Then just know that one side will be the small package and one side will be the large package. Then you're going to sew on the outside solid line just leaving this open here. This is where we'll turn it. You can backstitch if you want. Then you're going to trim it on the outside uh, dash line. You can trim it a little smaller on your corners. Cut a V, cut a little clip into the V here without compromising the stitches. Then you're going to remove the paper. Just rip it out. Don't have to save it. Make sure you take it out of the seams all that little paper. Put it in a Ziploc bag and take it with you where you go when you're sitting. It's kind of fun to use that time for something. Then you're going to turn it right side out through this opening. Now press it really well so the shapes are well defined. And it's important on these squares to kind of pull them out a little bit because they'll want to sink in on the sides. But You can set that with your press. Then with a single thread, you're going to, this has been turned in, and I do that in the press too, so it's nice and straight. And then with a knotted thread, just go back and forth, back and forth, and close that opening. Next, you'll take, you're going to do that with six of them, then you're going to take two together, and the side that's together will be the small package. Now when it's turned right side out, press it and if the sides kind of bow in a little bit on these small packages, pull them out, straighten them and heat set it. Then I also turned under the opening and pressed it so it's nice and straight. Then with a single uh, thread, go back and forth, back and forth so it doesn't show on the outside but so that that opening is closed. Next. Once you've done this six times, you're going to put two sides together and the side that goes together will be the small package and you're going to, like you want to mark exactly where that line is for the seam and then put them together and make sure they're really stacked together all the way around and then sew on that seam and then it will open up, press it we put a bow at the top here using smaller thread and then we wrapped it just like we did a package or you can do two threads and and tack it down. This really cool curly ribbon is fun. You just wrap it on a dowel, your ribbon, any size. I have a couple sizes here and I tape the ends so it won't unravel. I get it wet Put it in the oven on low, low heat for really actually just till it comes up to temperature. Turn it off, let it sit, and then it heat sets it just like this. Then I take a grouping of it, group it, and with a needle and thread, I just catch some of the loops that are hitting the package and that holds it together. And we'll show you this finished and I think you'll really enjoy it. This pattern can be Christmas packages or birthday packages. And here I've got it all put together, sewn on the side seams. And then I just take my ribbon and I can do two ribbons, pull them up, wrap them like this, or like you would just a regular package, you can wrap them like that on the back. Now, it's really important to just, with a little flame, 
melt the edges of your ribbon, especially these metallics. They really do fray. Then I'm going to tack that. I'm going to tack each side and on the back. Then I'm going to make my little bows. And very easy, again, I'm going to melt the edge and I'm going to loop it for the center part and crunch it together. You crunch it together so that you can pivot it like that. And then I'll fold it back, crunch it, and pivot it. Just is a great way to have. Uh, the inside, when it's finished, you can then put the position, the different loops, because it's squashed together in the middle, so it will pivot. And on this one, I just did three loops on each side, pinch it in, twist it, pinch it in, twist it. Really simple. Then what I'm going to do is loop it with thread instead of wire. Because I don't want any wire on this. I'm just going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it with thread. And then tack it to the middle. And then of course we showed you how to wrap these on a dowel and cook them. This makes such a beautiful little birthday thing to put out on your child's birthday just to celebrate that you remember and to decorate for their birthday. So I hope this video has really helped you. This is a fun, easy pattern and the Christmas just turns out beautiful. And you can put a candle in the middle or a, center or a floral in the middle and it just turns out great.